how can I go from this being my first attempt working with this product to this being my second attempt? I mean, oh man, I can't believe I'm putting this on my channel. So hi Jelly Babes, welcome back to my video. So this, this is gonna be one of those videos which we all know that you secretly love when it happens, it's the fail videos. So I am so sorry, Beauty Big Bang. Like, this is genuinely my first attempt with the project. I mean, as if you'd even question that. <laughs> Look at my thumbnail. <laughs> oh man. But anyway, I am not normally this rubbish. Like, this is what I've done recently. So I can do nice pretty nails and I've got some idea on nail art. So if you want to check out how I did these, then go and check out my uh, Kiki London, which is another channel that I host. So obviously don't take this video too seriously. I am going to take you through the steps, um, but not in great detail. But I'm sure that these products are really, really good. Um, I just haven't quite got to grips with, with, with it. But actually, if you watch the third attempt, that was the best attempt out of all of them. And I was kind of getting the hang of it near the end. So obviously, if you're doing this properly, you would want to put some um, dehydrator on your nails and primer. And obviously, you know, remove your cuticles and the oils and things like that first. And then you would go want to go in with your base coat. So I'm just using Kiki London's base coat. And then you cure that in your lamp for 30 seconds so this is it out of its packaging so that bit is really sort of like hard and like stuck together so obviously I don't think that you can use that so I've watched tutorials on this believe it or not and some people were individually putting these on like which I was just I am not going to do that if that is how this works because that is far too time consuming so I have seen others kind of put it on a bit like this um, but to be honest, it looked like obviously there was like way too much fibers. But I mean, I've never worked with this product, so I really don't know. I'm just going to go through and do it how I think. So generally people do this. Um, so they place it on and, you know, maybe the bit that you cut off you could use for the next nail. So to me, it just doesn't look right. So I'm actually going to take some of this fiberglass off and make it look a little bit thinner and look a little bit more how people who know how to use this product make it look. <laughs> so you wanna take this foil um, off and oh, you can see that this is a clear builder gel. This was sent to me from Beauty Big Bang as well. So I'm just gonna be using this flat brush. So that was uh, a Born Pretty flat brush. Um, but basically when I started putting it on, all the fibers just kept coming off and just going all over the place. And I was like, right, this is not how <laughs> other people make this look. Um, so I was kind of like trying to stick it back on and then it weirdly kind of just joined together in like almost like a stiletto form. Now you see that big line of stuff excess. Yeah, you want to take that off before you cure it because that's what happens if you don't. And it's actually twisted the nail. I don't think you can see it. I don't know whether you can see it on camera, but it's twisted the nail. So, and I mean, this stuff is rock hard. It is like, it is like a piece of glass. So yeah, don't let its flimsy beginning fool you. So I actually added some more builder gel just so I could kind of file down and hopefully salvage this but i mean seriously jelly babes i have never laughed so much when i has when i've done this review i'm just like at this point laughing to myself going why why are you trying to salvage this can you not see but i just kind of wanted to show you the steps like if you'd done this properly this is probably how you would do it so i kind of got it to resemble a bit of a nail shape with some filing. And then I just sort of took the end off that as well, just so I could mask that curve a little bit more. And then I applied the top coat and that was the end result, which actually, considering at one point it looked like that, wasn't that bad. Then you would think with all of that knowledge that I'd had and working with the product that my second attempt would be better. No. It just went horrifically wrong. So, again, going through going through the steps, cutting off. I actually tried to apply glue 
I thought, right, I'll get it to stick. Don't apply glue. <laughs> so I started again. Uh, applied this again, going all over the place and separating. Obviously, it, some it, fibers have just disappeared somehow. So here's me like frantically trying to salvage this. I mean, why? Why am I doing this? So and so that was the end result after curing it. Um, yeah. So I don't normally show, show you me using my e-file because I don't know how to use it and I don't want you copying my methods, but I thought, hey, this whole video looks like I don't know what I'm doing anyway, so why not? <laughs> so, I am actually shocked that that is how my second attempt turned out. I mean, the first attempt, I had no prior knowledge or experience working with the project and I did a better job than my second attempt. I don't even know how this has happened. But then I thought, you know what, I can't leave this nail bare, let's give it another go. So I followed the same steps, cut it off, get rid of the excess. And then I got the um, builder gel and I applied it and it didn't go all over the place. So I was like, hey, am I finally getting to grips with this somehow through my absolute failures? And it was, you know, going well. So I thought I would, I would put this in and it would sh I would show you. So it's the most weirdest product I have ever worked with before. It is certainly, I certainly have not found it as easy as some are um, making it look over on Instagram using these products. But maybe they're used to products like this because they work with acrylic or, you know, it's a similar thing. I'm just, yeah. So sorry if you wanted this to be like a really good, you know, tutorial on how to work with this product. But yeah, but this is this is a genuine, honest review. And I don't want it to reflect badly on the company because I'm sure others have used it and have got it to look fabulous. It's just, this was genuinely my first attempt and um, it just all went wrong. I mean, this is how hard it is. It broke the clippers. And then I kind of just you know, fold it into some sort of shape. And then I did the top coat. So I can understand like the reason for creating it because I mean, your nails are so, they're gonna be rock hard. Um, and obviously if you're not used to acrylic, then it's another way that you can add an extension to your nails. But yeah, I think I would choose like poly gel. Like I've worked with poly gel and that was much easier than this. I think it's a cracking idea, but I just couldn't get to grips with it for whatever reasons. Um, so yeah, so my recommendations are do something like I've done, put it on a practice hand. If you can't afford these really fantastic, realistic hands, then get a cheap version and practice on it. Because I mean, seriously, if your nails ended up looking like this, <laughs> this, you would be horrified. I just feel like this picture would be on like a meme with, you know, the title, like, I can get my nails done cheaper and this is the picture. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there. So I, re I hope you've enjoyed watching this failure. Um, uh, there's no dispute and this was my first attempt <laughs> working with this product. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. Would you recreate this? <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs>